So Deck Loader is an incredible add-on to the Steam Deck OLED that allows us to add even more amazing customization and features to the handheld. And here are the top seven essential Deck Loader plugins ranked in order that you absolutely need to download right now. So let's dive straight in and just a quick note in that if you haven't yet downloaded and set up the actual Deckie Loader app, then you can do that in the setup guide from this vid, link in the description. Let's press the three dotted button, head to the plug section when Deckie Loader is installed, press the plugin marketplace icon and at number seven is animation changer. If we head into manage animation section, then there are almost 3000 super cool boot up and suspend animations that really add a nice customization feel to the OLED. And to download one, we simply tap on one that we like, simply press the download button like this awesome Spider-Man boot up animation. The boot section obviously sets the animation when the Steam Deck is restarted, the suspend animation occurs when we suspend from the menu, and the throwback refers to when we suspend during a game. My favourite suspend and throbber is the old CRT off suspend and my four favourite boot ups that I set to shuffle are the Matrix, Disney Classic Steam Deck Intro, Handheld History 4 Second Version and finally getting Rick Rolled by Rick Astley. Let us know your favourites in the comments. At 6 is HLTB4 Deck and this is so good as when we select either a Steam or even non-Steam game then this plugin provides information in this section right here in how long to beat the main story, the main story plus extras, to complete every single part of the game and finally all playstyles which is super helpful to know. Plus when we tap the view details button then it takes us to the official how long to beat website directly for more info including wiki guides, this is so awesome. At five is a plugin called Playtime, and this is amazing as it indicates to us how long we've played each of our non-Steam games, which is always a good thing to know and keep track of. At number four is a plugin called Bluetooth, and if you enjoy using Bluetooth earphones or headphones like the AirPods Pro like I do, which pretty much has zero latency and works so well with the OLED, then this is absolutely essential, as many times our earphones or headphones do automatically connect, but for those times when they don't, we can simply tap on what we want to connect to, and voila, all connected in seconds, which makes life so easy. So now we're in our top three, and at three is the Volume Boost plugin. And while the Steam Deck OLED speakers are undeniably really great, they are at least to my ears just a little bit on the quiet side. So here for example, in my favourite ever retro game, Donkey Kong Country, we're on the default 100 max volume, which has this level of loudness. And I find that moving this slider to around 120 to 125 mark, it just really gives the OLED speakers and also when we're using our Bluetooth earphones or headphones, that little bit of extra oomph to sound much more immersive like this. In second place of the most indispensable plugins is Steam Grid DB, and this is absolutely fantastic for customizing game artwork. This works with both Steam and non Steam games, and we do this by pressing start on the game that we want to change the game artwork for, select the change artwork option, then in the capsule tab we can change what the thin menu icon looks like, the wide capsule is the game artwork when we've just finished the game right here and the hero is a huge background artwork that fills up the whole of the back part of the menu. And I love this, as if you're anything like me, we can get the game artwork looking exactly how we want it for each and every single game that we have in the menu. And I've done a full in-depth guide on this, link in the description. Just before we look at number one, I do want to give an honorable mention to a very popular Deckie Loader plugin called Power Tools. Now I don't really use this as we can easily fall down a rabbit hole of spending too much time tweaking and fine tuning games instead of just enjoying and playing them. But if you are a bit of a fiddler, that's what she said, or he said, then you can tweak and fiddle to your heart's content using this excellent plugin. And finally at number one at the top of my list for the most essential Deckie Loader plugins is CSS Loader. 
My goodness, this is insane. This allows us to completely customize the whole look and feel of the user interface within Steam OS to any of the incredible themes available to download. And my favorite is this one called Arts Hero. Just the vast array of customization options and the granular detail is insane in this. CSS Loader really does allow us to get every element of the UI looking exactly the way that we want it, which just makes the whole Steam Deck OLED as a whole feel like a proper console-like experience. I'd love to know what Decky Loader plugins are your essential and most used ones that you recommend. Let us know in the comments. And as a thank you for watching this far, I'd love to share this awesome quote. A great future doesn't require a great past. Many of us have suffered through some really difficult childhoods and perhaps made many mistakes. But let's not allow our past guilt, shame and mistakes to stop us from enjoying our incredible future ahead of us. So stay encouraged today, guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this helpful. And if you want to know how to install Decky Loader and customize the theme, click on the top right. And if you want to know how to change the game artwork in more detail, then click on the bottom right. I appreciate every single one of you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.